What's good, y'all? Today I'll be teaching you guys how to mix and master. If you want to have a beat ready already, um, let's just start on a melody first. Like, come up with a melody, of course. But this is purity, it's a piano. So you go ahead and play the piano. And with um mixing and mastering, you're basically cutting out like low frequency sounds and melodies. So you can hear the 808s better. That's, well, that's how I see it, so. Okay, so what you wanna do is you would you'll go to your plugins and you will go down to F Fruity Pet Petromedic EQ2. And then you you will play the melody of course and what you're doing is you can use this to cut out the low frequencies inside the song so i'll play the melody for you guys real quick see the lower that you go the more sounds it cuts out so you can put it like right Put it about right there which i already did it to all the sounds i have loaded in here so you'll put it about right there just to get that perfect sound basically for all the melodies you're just repeating the same process so Sometimes I leave some of the frequencies in there because I, me personally, I like the beat feel fuller when I leave some of the frequencies in there. So I don't cut every sound out, but that's basically it for the melodies. Then you will go to the drums, which really I don't, when I'm um, mixing and mastering, the only thing that I really cut out is some sounds in the hi-hat. Because the hi hat can always be too loud. This is what I do for the hi hat. So I'll just go ahead. I'll just go ahead and play the normal hi hat. That's after I edited it or whatever. So I put it. I cut out like. I, I faded out like 13% of the sound in the hi-hat, but this is how it sounded at first. Sometimes the sound can be a little bit too much room, so you might want to cut out a little bit of the sound, which you can go by just clicking on it and then clicking this. And I'll put it on like 13%. And then that was it for that, and this side came out. Eight oh eight, same thing. Why well, actually I didn't touch the eight oh eight because that's why. Basically, when you mix and master, and um, when you're fading out the low frequencies inside of the melodies, it makes the eight oh eight hit hit harder. And you want to turn the beat up you would you will go to the mastering channel and you will go down here to fruity multiband compressor right here and then once you get in it i'll go ahead and close this out for example but let's go ahead and play the beat the volume of the beat is too low and you just want to turn the beat up and all the sounds up at the same time you will go to this of course and then you will come down to presets inside here and go to mastering 2.4 and you would turn the gain up right here which would turn all the sounds up inside of the beat so i'm gonna play it with i'm gonna play it with multi-blend i'm gonna play the beat with multi-band on it and without it so Okay, let's say if you want to turn it up a little bit.
I just did there was I showed you guys an example of how it would sound without the parametric EQ on there because if you take it off the 808s are kind of like sitting under the melody but if you turn it on you can hear the 808s a little bit better which stops that muddy sound pretty much it um like comment subscribe or ask anything in the comments below and yeah that's it